all right hello everybody and welcome back it is that time of the week again for Zer's location and this week uh you guys are going to be heading on over to nessus once you're on nessus head on on up to the top to watcher's grave once you're here you're going to jump on your he uh, sparrow and head straight across the map in the distance you're going to see a tree uh with no leaves on it head on over towards the base of that tree jump on off your sparrow and head up the tree let's see if i can jump oh there we go so once you're here you'll find zer this week everybody as always zer has his uh exotic engram for sale you can buy it for the 97 legendary shards or one exotic cipher uh the exotic weapon for this week we've got the sunshot hand cannon now this thing is an og original weapon and it it actually it slaps i mean like it when you when you shoot somebody with this thing even the body shots it uh it really stuns them so um actually even a decent uh weapon in pvp if you want to check it out or even try it in pvp makes things explode so it's pretty cool um it really works with your uh, solar subclass so check that out and the main perk on it just to go over is sunburn uh, so this weapon fires an explosive round and highlights targets uh, that take damage uh, from the sunshot uh, the other one is sunblast uh, so target uh, targets killed with sunshot explode in solar energy so you're going to get that uh, damage affecting other enemies around whatever you're going to get to explode with it uh, it also has textured grip as well as accurized rounds and uh, the chambered compensator uh, moving on over to the hunter this week for the exotic armor piece we've got the uh, the dragon's shadow chest armor um, the main perk on the dragon shadow is wraith mail so dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speed uh, for a brief time so not too bad. I've seen a few people using this in PvP, and I I would say it actually isn't uh, isn't too terribly bad at all. Uh, moving on over to the Titan this week, uh, we've got the Helm of Sate fourteen. So if you're running that Void subclass, definitely check this out. The main perk on the Helm of Sate fourteen is Starless Night. Uh, so targets that enter uh, Ward of Dawn are, are blinded. So while allies pass through. Uh, uh, through gain of void over shield guarding with sentinel shield blinds nearby targets so uh, throwing up that bubble you're going to uh, uh, blind anything that does come inside that bubble for that brief uh, brief time so i mean if you're able to get the shots off or you're running a glaive like i've seen a few people do that come inside the bubble you can uh, beat the shit out of them while they can't see you and uh, also throwing down your shield uh also stuns nearby enemies as well so definitely to me uh is a is a great pvp exotic as well as pve if you're overwhelmed with ads throw that down they kind of wander around until they can gain their senses again uh the warlock exotic for this week we've got transverse of steps uh the main perk on the transverse of steps is strange protractor uh so sprint spree uh sprint speed is increased and then after a short time sprinting um uh after a short time sprinting your current equipped weapon is automatically reloaded uh so this is definitely a decent uh, exotic in pvp as well if you're wanting to get that uh, that reload after taking a couple of shots and running away and uh moving on down to the legendary weapons this week we have the dire promise hand cannon rolling with auto loading holster as well as under pressure uh, the seventh serif submachine gun rolling with pulse monitor and vorpal uh extraordinary rendition with uh, some machine gun with outlaw and rampage uh the truth teller grenade launcher with uh, field prep and swashbuckler widow's bite sniper rifle with slide shot quick draw uh interference grenade launcher with uh, clown cartridge full court now um uh, this would probably be my pick out of everything that's here you know like vorpal isn't bad on on this smg but uh the the uh, clown cartridge with the full court is uh isn't terribly bad uh we also have the night watch scout rifle with uh rapid hit and moving target 
Uh, moving on down to the armor set for the Hunter this week, we've got the Tusk Allegiance armor set. Um, I took a look at everything, and honestly, it wasn't the best to me. I mean, the, uh, yeah, the chest piece isn't, you know, isn't like too terribly bad but strength i mean leaning in the strength i don't know it's not my thing uh moving on over to the dmt this week the dead man's tail uh it is rolling with subsistence take a look at the main perk on the dmt is cranial spike so chaining precision hits grants bonus target acquisition um as well as range uh, we've also got the composite stock, uh, subsistence like i said riggy rounds and uh arrowhead break so not the best but not the worst ish rolls for the dmt and moving on over to the hawk moon this week we are rolling with eye of the storm take a look at the main perk on that so main perk is paracausal shot uh so final blows and precision hits with the hawk moon grant stacks of paracausal charge uh the final round of the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks and then stowing the hawk moon on the final round removes this bonus uh so getting those killing those enemies is going to give you the paracausal shot paracausal shots uh, make sure you're using them up before you're swapping weapons and always make sure you're picking up your xenology quest if you haven't completed it and you can do it throughout the week whether you're doing uh, different strike playlists uh doing matches in crucible as well as gambit everybody i appreciate it thank you very very much for checking out the video if you can do me a favor hit the subscribe button uh it greatly greatly helps out the channel with the uh, youtube algorithm as well as the likes and comments do help out as well and uh happy easter this weekend to uh everybody out there and good friday Everything is really appreciated. If you want to head over to uh, twitch.tv forward slash stars at seven gaming, check out the live stream. You can come join us, um, check out the uh, discord and uh, come join us while you're over there. Everybody until next week, be safe and take care.